Hello friends, we're so glad you've joined us today as we study God's Word together. I'm David, and it's time to tune into this week's FCC Pulse. This Friday, March 29th at 6 p.m., we will all meet together at our Greenville campus for a time of wor to worship Christ and reflect on the Savior's work of sacrificial love. Easter Sunday, March 31st, we will all meet together for one combined service at 10 a.m. at the Tusculum Pioneer Arena to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Invite your friends and family. Get more info on the app or at fcceaster.org. There will be childcare available for nursery through preschool for this service. 180 students, middle and high school summer camps are coming up soon and registration is now open. The high school spots filled up fast, but you can still sign up to be on a waiting list on the app or at fccgreen.org slash rym. Middle school students, there are still spots available, so sign up on the app or at fccgreen.org slash summer charge. Parents of 180 students and parents of rising sixth graders, we invite you to join us for Parent Night Wednesday, April 3rd from 6 to 8 p.m. You will get to experience student ministry alongside your students and have the opportunity to ask questions. Join us for this important night. Over the past few weeks, a few friends identified with Christ at all three campuses. Let's hear from these friends. Hi, I'm Tyler Brenniger. Hi, I'm Cindy Faust. My name is Eamon Paris. I was introduced to FCC a year ago when a 180 student invited me to a night of worship. I started coming to FCC after seeing several yard signs in the area. A few weeks ago, I asked Jesus to forgive me of my sins. I'm placing membership today, which is why I'm declaring that I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and my Lord and Savior. Last weekend, around 25 FCC ladies attended the Longview Women's Retreat. They learned the amazing truth about the forgiveness we have received from Jesus Christ, and that because of that forgiveness, we can extend forgiveness to others. In this week's H7 story, Jess Brieske sh shares about her time at the retreat and what God taught her. We want to stay connected with you. And the best way for that to happen is when you fill out the connect card and drop it into the bucket when it passes. Share your prayer requests and comments, ask questions, and take your next step. Well, that wraps up this week's FCC Pulse. Today, we will be back in our Exodus series in chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Follow along on the sermon guide on the app. To keep up with all the latest news at FCC, go to Pulse on the app.